my role. I should have been taking my own advice. So I started running, it stopped being fun and making myself numb isn't helping. I got to learn to deal with the way I feel. If this is reality, don't know what I expected. Just for a moment, I can put this down. Things are getting crazy, lately I'm in hazy Oh, and I've been praying someone will come and save me The birds are flying south, I'm frozen in my doubt Got no way to go from here, so I'll stick around Just for a moment I can put this down Baby, just for a moment drown these voices out Slow burn, mind is a world away Good morning guys, I'm new here, my name is Jenna, I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> Today is Wednesday and honestly, I'm filming a week in my life right now, I hope you guys are proud. I was debating, I was like, should I just make Monday through Wednesday like a midweek work vlog? But I decided to just make a whole entire week in my life, so I'm in the process of doing that. But I'm sure you guys are really curious how my new job is going, so I thought I'd just take you guys along Wednesday this week. You guys are gonna watch this on Friday. I know you guys are really curious, so welcome to just a regular day in my life. Today's Wednesday, we're in the middle of the work week, and yeah. Since this is going up on Friday, I feel like this might be a little bit of a shorter vlog, but I know you guys are okay with it. Welcome to Wednesday. I'll talk to you guys a little bit more, a little bit about my new position during lunch, but this isn't a work from home vlog or anything. This is just like a regular day in my life. It's just that I'm working for like 80% of it. I went to the gym this morning and then I just had a nice slow morning where I was spent some time bullet journaling and just reflecting and having just a moment of peace to myself. That's like my favorite thing ever. And that's probably one of my favorite things about this new position is that I'm in central time when I'm working, but I live in Eastern time. So my day starts right at nine because it's 8 a.m. over there, but it's nine here. So I can actually really give myself like a slow, non-rushed morning. So welcome to the vlog, very long intro, but yeah, I guess this is a work from home vlog, whatever. This is a day in my life. <laughs> Same thing. I'm gonna start work and I'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys are new here, I am in the first week of my new position as a go-to-market strategist in the growth intelligence or growth strategies part of my company. I work corporate. Same organization that I worked for before if you guys have been watching my work from home vlogs or just if you've been following my life. And yeah, I'm in the middle of my first week and it's a pretty good week. I'll talk about it later. But for now, let's start work and let's have a good day. school for lunch today and I made 
This is literally such an elementary school lunch. I'm like disgusted with myself, but honestly, I'm excited. It's currently 1 p.m. and I was thinking about like, should I go to the gym midday or just right after work today? And I'm gonna go right after work. I like lifted this morning, but it honestly like just was not really, it was heavy lifting in terms of like my push day, but I really wanna just get some like walking or cardio or something in, so. I think we're gonna go after work today. But here's my elementary school lunch. <laughs> I have half a Honeycrisp apple, some carrot sticks with hummus. This is like really, this is my favorite hummus right now. It's the garlic hummus from Good and Gather from Target. So I really like that. And then I made myself a toasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Honestly, you guys, I love peanut butter and jelly. You guys know that I feel like I've made peanut butter jelly a lot lately. It's just like, I just don't think you can ever get sick of it. I'm honestly a little bit stuck and I think I'm ready to ask some questions because I'm just not sure if what I'm doing is correct in terms of like this competitive analysis. And I just want to make sure that I'm like doing things right. It's definitely weird getting into my second job ever in a fully remote team, but within the same organization, like for some reason, I feel like I'm not having quite the first week that I would if I just went to a completely new company. So I feel like honestly, you guys, I'm having a pretty chill first week. I've been meeting a lot of people on the team. Everyone's really nice. It's honestly a really, really small team. I think we have around 10 people on the growth intelligence team. My role as a go-to-market strategist is essentially doing a lot more market research and and research specifically on competitors of my corporations. So I guess with my previous job, if you guys have been watching my work from home vlogs and just like following my life, previously I would have clients that were government contractors hiring my company to help solve a government contracting related business problem. So my job now is a little bit similar in the sense that I'm still doing a lot of problem solving, but I'm doing a lot more research and analysis with that now. And instead of doing it for all these different companies, I'm doing it just for my one company. And so my clients, I guess, are the people in my company, like execs and VPs and managers and directors and stuff. The main goal of my role as a go-to-market strategist is just helping the company grow. And I feel like that's really vague, but I just kind of, I don't know. As the weeks go on, I can definitely share more, I think, but as I do more projects, I'll get a better understanding of what this is. But I'm just really excited because market research is actually something that was not really not really too heavily emphasized with my previous position. And this is something that I think is really cool, strategy and marketing and, and marketing strategy. I just think all of that's really, really cool. So aside from work, this is not work from home vlog. Got the cutest clothes from Urban Outfitters that I just have to show you guys. This is like, I just think every single piece is so cute and I need to try all of them on, but I wanted, to, I tried on like one pair of pants and I was like, oh wait, I need to show them. So I want to show you that during maybe like my mid-afternoon break or right after work, but it's honestly going to be dark by the time that I log off today because we're entering that part of the year where it's dark at like 5 and 6 p.m. So I'll show you guys the clothes later, but I'm going to get back to work. Having a good productive day, I'm like in a good groove, which is why I wanted to make a really, really fast lunch. Overall, I think there's a lot of vagueness with my position, but I mean, I'll know more as the weeks go by. This is just my first week and I wanted to show you guys a little glimpse of how my first week is going, so. Also, leave any questions that you guys have. I don't know like how much I can answer and I don't even know how much I know, but if I'm not clear about anything in terms of like the job transition or, or what it's like to start a new job or closing my old job, just all of that, let me know if you have any questions. I know one of you asked about just like the whole process and I don't think I can share that publicly at least, but I would say that if you're looking to move within the same organization that you work for, either ask a mentor that you have, that is something that I did, and also look into the different, I guess, like guidelines and doing that. There's definitely something on your company's website or internal website about that. So I think that's kind of as much as I can say. I feel like I shouldn't outline my exact <laughs> process and everything, but I hope that's helpful enough. Just look for the right resources and ask people that you trust. That hurt. This town is already asleep, but to end off this vlog, I wanted to bring the I feel like I just talked to you guys, but well, it's been two hours, but I'm having a snack because my elementary school lunch didn't do much for me, I guess. I really want to show you guys these clothes while the sun is still out, but 
I'm just like on a roll. I'm like, I want to keep going, you know? So let's see, what time does... The sun sets at 6.14. What? Also, my friend Julia is gonna come over in a little bit. I think she'll be here in maybe like an hour or something. But she actually is from my previous position. She was, or I was her buddy in our old practice because we had so many people. So she's gonna come over a little bit later and then she's actually gonna crash on my place tonight. So that would be really fun. I'll have her say hi to you guys or wave or something. And then, yeah, that's later on. turn I'm still finishing up work but not because like I have that much work I just I felt like I was a little slow and I should have asked questions sooner so that's definitely a tip from experience at this point if you guys are starting something and you just feel like you're too afraid to ask like I know I always told you guys in my previous job like just ask and I should have been taking my own advice so I'm still finishing up some stuff right now I think I'll finish in the next like hour but I, so it's nighttime. <laughs> I still want to show you guys the clothes that I got, but I will just wait for the very end. But right now I am heating up some of my mom's butternut squash soup. And it's so good. My mom just makes literally the best soup ever. This thing is so good. I like to just add pepper, salt. I like to add some crunch to it. So my mom added black beans, but what I'm gonna do is just break apart some everything crackers that I got from Trader Joe's and, and then that's it. But this is our really sad, but still delicious dinner tonight. Maybe I'll have something later on when I finish work, but I still wanna go to the gym. Like I still was supposed to do that today. And I still haven't done any sort of cardio or movement or like something. I really wanted to go on the treadmill for some reason. So I still want to do that today. Julia's here too and you guys will see her when she comes back from dinner. But yeah, still finishing up work. <laughs> I feel so stupid. I should have asked questions earlier. these clothes before I get all gross and sweaty because I'm gonna go run I just like good god I just literally have been sitting and standing like all freaking day since nine o'clock and I need to just move my body and I really want to run so before I run I just need to show you guys these clothes because I've been waiting all day to show you because they're so cute none of this is really like there's maybe like one going out top but for the most part this is all pretty modest fall clothing and it's all from Urban Outfitters because I'm just crazy and they wanted to gift me things so let me show you guys what I picked oh my god everything is so cute okay <gasps> oh my god what okay here is the first outfit that I got these jeans are like an ivory color I don't know if you guys can tell but oh my god they fit perfectly I must say I'm in between sizes but I decided to get the size higher than the one I was in between and they actually fit so perfectly because I feel like Urban Outfitters runs like ever so slightly small. So, oh my god, you guys, this is so cute. And look at this shirt. Like, this is so cute. <laughs> this top is like a mock neck. It's kind of like a brown mauve color and it's this really beautiful detailed design on it. And I just think it looks so cute with the ivory pants they're so cute and then the jeans are kind of like this slightly flare slightly boot cut style and i just think that they fit 
so well. I love modest pieces like this. I love like mock necks and turtlenecks and stuff. And I think that this design just gives it ever so slightly. I don't know. I feel like the design just gives it like an extra oomph. And I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay. Then. Okay. And then I just got this very basic black turtleneck. My previous black turtleneck was a bodysuit. And I actually don't think I loved the fact that it was a bodysuit. I don't know why. I just wanted something like for good for layering, but oh my god! I love the texture. It's like this actual very nice cotton. It doesn't like suffocate your skin. It just feels like a nice layering piece. And yeah, and then what I got to layer on top of the turtleneck is actually, this is a men's flannel. I love fall because I feel like you can get away with wearing a lot of unisex slash men's and oh my god okay wait this is so cute <laughs> wow i'm actually so glad i waited until the end of my work day to show you guys this like i think this is such a cute outfit a turtleneck with a flannel and then especially a men's flannel like so so cute right oh my god i love it i think this is my favorite like look so far and then the last thing i got for these pants is oh my god <gasps> wait you guys oh my god okay no i think the last one is still my favorite but this bodysuit is so unbelievably flattering it's kind of like a mixture between an asymmetric bodysuit and a cow neck oh my god especially with these pants like i think this is so cute i know i keep saying that but i just i don't know i'm pleasantly surprised this is the first time i'm putting on this bodysuit and now i just want like more colors of it i'm not wearing a bra also which we love. It's a low back too, which is really flattering. And oh my God, wow, this one, this one really surprised me. And then I just need to show you guys these other pair of pants. Okay, these are the only things that I've tried on beforehand. And you guys, these are so cute. I don't know if you can tell, but they are a corduroy mom jean. And oh my God, I just think they fit. They fit literally perfectly. They look so nice. And I love corduroy for like an added texture to an outfit and oh my god and then lastly i got this huge sweater that i thought would be really cute with these pants yeah oh my god wait this is so cute too especially if you like do a little tuck-in situation i think i'm gonna wear this to the office actually the next time that i go in i think it's really cute Yay! It's so, this sweater is so soft too. It feels so nice. Okay, and then aside from clothes, I have two other things to show you guys. Look at this cow bag. Oh my god, this is called, I think that's called Bagu. But look at this freaking cow tote bag. It's so cute. I love that there's like a longer strap, but then there's also the shorter straps too if you just want to carry it on the side like this. But like, come on, that's so cute, right? Oh my god, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, and then lastly, I want to show you guys these shoes. Okay, I've never ever owned shoes like this, but they were really in last year. And you know what? I don't care if it's too late in the trend. I saw them and I was like, I want to get those. <laughs> They're like a platform high zip up shoe. Okay, the boots are a little bit scrunched just because my calves are too big for the pants but oh my god wait these are so cool i think these are gonna be really cool for winter time they're just like big chunky high leg shoes i don't know they're cool what do you guys think i feel like these boots won't be like everybody's cup of tea but but sometimes you just have to challenge yourselves okay comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was from this urban outfitters haul i think still it's the turtleneck and the men's flannel that is like once i put that on i was like oh my god i could wear this literally to anything at any time whenever and i'm just really pleasantly surprised honestly with the pants the pants are so they fit just perfectly definitely get your true size if you're looking to get pants from urban outfitters i'll link everything in the description box too if you guys want to pick up any of these like specific items but honestly urban outfitters i haven't purchased from them in so 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 long so this really pleasantly surprised me. Okay, I'm gonna go to the gym and I will see you guys afterwards to end off this vlog. But like, honestly, I'm really sorry. What a like boring day this is probably for you guys. <laughs> At least you guys got to see some cute clothes. <laughs>
bitch, I got my racks on I didn't wanna tax her, so I gotta keep all my receipts Fuck you with a red dot, leave a pussy red hot If a bitch wanna take something from me But you gon' come and heal my pain if everything depends on me I ain't have no backup, then I get this cash up I took off my glasses and I have to be quiet because Julia's sleeping in the living room, but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this very random, very incohesive day in my life. I just kind of wanted to give you guys like a real time update on how the new job is going. Today was a later day, but that was like really my own fault. Just know that if you have questions, you should ask them early. But besides that, I really, really like this new job, you guys. It's just really cool. Like I feel like... Everything that I learned is going to be so different and it's all like coming together to make one company grow and there's just, I don't know, it's really cool. I feel like I know that this was the right decision for me if I'm working a later night and I'm like not mad about it, like I, I liked what I was doing, so, so yeah. But time for sleep, I'm glad I could still get my walk in, I talked to Thomas as I was walking and... And yeah, now it's time for sleep. And I'm gonna go into the office tomorrow and I'm gonna pick up my weekly vlog tomorrow. So this is just Wednesday, but you guys will see a weekly vlog from me very, very soon. I love you guys. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm still trying to decide on the upload schedule, but I'm thinking Monday and Thursday. And then I really wanna get my merch done soon for you guys. That's like a whole separate project, but there's just not enough hours in the day, truly. Does anyone else think that, or is it just me? Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video, but until then, miss you already. Good night.